So good morning, everybody. And that was a nice rousing welcome. Gina, you're gone. Um, so welcome, everybody. And in particular, our own students, our faculty, and students from our secondary schools and other schools across the region. Um, it's my privilege to welcome you here this morning. Um, in depleted numbers, as far as I can see, but probably understandably so. But as Gina said, that shouldn't take away from the really important event that's happening here today to share, to excite, and to inspire. It's a really exciting time for us at UCC, as you've seen from the video. We are at the beginning of a planning phase now of developing our business school, our new business school site in, in the city, which will connect us directly to the business community, right in the heart of the city, building on the fantastic facility at Laps Key. If you haven't been there, and I'm sure many of you will be over the next coming weeks and, and months. Cork University Business Schools offers educational environment that successfully combines industry and academia and prides itself as being the largest provider of undergraduate business education in the state. And I think that's a remarkable accomplishment by our colleagues in the business school uh, who have built capacity to educate a huge, large workforce, many of whom find it easier to work in London than work in Dublin. Uh, getting out into London is much, much easier. And from my point of view, um, as Deputy President of Registrar, a staggering 95% uh, staggering of Cubs graduates secure immediate employment. It's probably with medicine, the, one of the highest in the, in the university. And the good news indeed is that for the estimated 4,000 students are expected to enrol within the next few years equally um, will have the equal opportunity. So we're incredibly proud of you and we're incredibly proud of our faculty and the team for enabling that to happen. The Business School Conference is now, as Gina said, is in its fourth year and has proven incredibly successful and an enjoyable occasion. Um, the 2020 conference features a whole range of guests from our faculty, from our alumni and from business leaders who will offer you insights into the changing landscape of business, both locally and internationally, but also to speak on a variety of topics of the future of business and sustainability to the graduate experience. You might ask, why do we have conferences? Um, all of us in academia and in business actually have conferences all the time. Well, there are lots of reasons to have conferences. One is to learn, but probably the, one of the most important things is to learn to network, learn to engage with each other, engage with business, but also to look for opportunities for employment, but also to look for opportunities and ideas, and also to build friendships. So many of us on the academic circle or in business circle continuously have conferences to share these kinds of insights and to inspire and to challenge each other. Cubs is now in its fourth year, and it feels like this event has come into its own. While more being brought to the table each year, what's really important today is, I suppose, a collision, what we'll see, the collision between business and art. And I think really what we're trying to do is to challenge you um, in, in, I'm a scientist, in, in Aurea we talk about STEAM, so that's science, technology, engineering, arts and, and medicine, or, and ma mathematics. I mean, what's really important in business is that collision also between the creative practitioners and business itself. Aptly named Future Proofing Business, the theme of this year's event references the overarching outlook of Cubs and the potential of the students who play an active role in the coordination and delivery of this conference. This is a student-led, research-informed, practice-focused conference. Each year, the event has served to open lines of communication and discussion on topics such as the expectations of graduates with a dynamic, innovative workplace, growth and prosperity in the face of economic uncertainty in the future of Irish workforce. This year is no exception. We've had Gina, an Emmy-winning and former CNN correspondent, will lead us today in, in her MC, my colleague Dr. Jean Van Sindren Law, Jonathan Hurley, UCC alumni, and many others will actually share their perspectives. Finance graduates Sharon Cunningham, Mary McNamara, Kiro Callan, and Laura Tynan will discuss their career trajectories because if you can't see one, you can't be one. By seeing people making and taking these roles will hopefully encourage you and inspire you to also challenge yourself and become the person that you ought to become. The conference, as we've seen, is sponsored by KPMG and other sponsors, but it's a shame that we don't have some of those speakers here today because of the coronavirus, but they are here in spirit, they are here in their support, and we are hugely grateful to them. We have a whole range of speakers, including, uh, when I saw the notes first, I thought it was Niall Horan. I think that would probably have caused a bigger drama in the place, but Niall Horgan uh, and Dermot McSweeney uh, from the founders of uh, Gym Plus Coffee, which uh, is an amazing brand. Uh, we'll hear from Ian Flanagan shortly, the CEO of Munster Rugby, about his own career path, um, his treble cup and Leicester City football, but actually as a U UCC English graduate. The world of business and arts will continue to collide during a, the panel discussions consisting of casts of popular TV programme, The Young Offenders. The audience will hear a challenge in turning 
a Cork-based movie with a tiny budget international TV success story. The Cork Business Conference 2020 is proudly sponsored by KPMG and the Bank of Ireland, and we thank them most sincerely for that. I want to leave you with two final thoughts. One is the concept of VUCA. Now, before I came here this morning and before, in fact, some weeks ago um, at a conference in the US, this is the latest rage, and it's probably from our business leaders are probably very familiar with this, but, um, but the notion of VUCA. So what's VUCA? VUCA is volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. So let's take volatility first, and I think today is a good example. We live in a world that's constantly changing, becoming more unstable each day, where changes, big and small, are becoming more unpredictable. They're getting more and more dramatic and happening faster and faster. As events unfold in completely unexpected ways, it's becoming impossible to determine cause and effect. And this gives rise to uncertainty. It's becoming more difficult to anticipate events or predict how they'll unfold. Historical forecasts and past experiences are losing their relevance and are rarely applicable as a basis for predicting the shape of things to come. It's becoming nearly impossible to plan for investment, development and growth as it becomes increasingly uncertain where the route is heading. That leads to complexity. Our modern world is more com complex than ever. What are the reasons? What are the effects? Problems, their repercussions are multi-layered and harder to understand. The different layers intermingling into a tangled mesh of reaction and counter-reaction. And choosing the single path is almost impossible. And that finally leads to ambiguity. The notion of one size fits all. Best practice have been relegated to yesterday. In today's world, it's rare for things to be completely clear or be precisely determinable. Not everything is black and white. There are shades of grey. Things will happen in an unpredictable way. The demands on the modern organisation and management are more contradictory and paradoxical than ever. Challenging our personal value system to the core in a world where the what takes backseat to the why and how, making decisions requires courage, awareness, and willingness to make mistakes. So the final point then is, what does that mean for you? What's your VUCA as a student, as a future leader? The VUCA for you is that you must have vision. Paint a picture of the future you want to become. Let that be your compass. Let that be your vision. The you, understanding interconnections, making them transparent, Think and plan meta-strategically. Start from your trust and work backwards. The C, clarity, simplicity. Focus on what really counts. Trust, transparent connections and processes. And finally, the A, be adaptable and be agile. Because they're the features and characteristics that we need and are proud of in a UCC graduate. And finally, as the Deputy President and the chairing of our management team, team later to, in, in an hour's time, one of the big issues for us on our minds, of course, is coronavirus. And it's important for me to demystify what the university is doing. The university will remain open. The university will continue and follow direct advice. We're in daily in contact with the public health sector. And we will continue to do so until such time as we are instructed otherwise. Um, our faculty, our students, and everybody will work together to give you the best educational uh, experience that you can hope to enjoy at UCC. So finally, can I ask you to enjoy yourself today? Can I ask you to challenge each other? And most importantly, to have a great day. Congratulations, and thank you very, very much.